some of you are going to go on to do incredible things. So I give thanks to God for blessing me with the opportunity to come before you this afternoon and come and share something with you that hopefully will inspire you to be better, to be more prosperous, to understand this thing called hip hop a little bit more clearly because hip hop today has become almost like a, yeah, not, yeah, ghost. You don't know what it is. You know, it's, it's, you know, it's morphed into so many things. And somebody asked me, you know, some time ago, when Nas's album came out, Hip Hop is Dead, and they say, yo, Mr. T, man, what's your take on that? You know, do you think Hip Hop is dead? And I was like, what kind of question is that? Of course it is. And in many respects, Hip Hop has been bastardized. Hip Hop has been commercialized. And there's nothing wrong with the commercialization of Hip Hop until you make hip hop for commercial reasons. Because you're no longer doing it out of passion, you're no longer doing it from a place in your heart, you're no longer doing it to express yourself. You're not doing it to get a paycheck. And you ever see people that do jobs to get paychecks? Oftentimes they're miserable. Why hip hop had to be dumbed down? Because you could not get the truth, man. We had to get your mind off of liberation. We had to get your mind off of changing the world. We had to take you from a child born with no state of mind, blind to the ways of mankind. God is smiling on you, but he's frowning too. Because only God knows what you go through. That was the message, right? See, we had to take you from that. We can't let that happen. Because if we let you get that, then soon you're going to be talking about having some real power. What's happening with hip hop is corporations and commercialism is focusing solely on the negative aspect of rap music. 95% of what people know of hip hop is rap music and commercially successful rap music. Now, what we do on Path is we teach them about the other 95% that never gets shine. There's so much incredible music out there, but the radio stations only allow a certain amount of music to get through. So what Path does is we open up the opportunity to learn about new music. Remix, 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 remix. This is an AKA Dreamo remix. C'est ça qui fait nous show. C'est ça qui fait nous show. C'est ça qui fait nous, ça qui fait nous, ça qui fait nous show. C'est ça qui fait nous show. C'est ça qui fait nous show. C'est ça qui fait nous, ça qui fait nous, ça qui fait nous show. Listen up. Si nous gardons en l'air, en soleil, en aqua, on boule du feu, capit sous la terre, yes, c'est moi. Pas de au monde qui a fait travail que n'a fait. Moi, clairé tout ciel, non. Ton goût, c'est éclair. Nous pas j'en paix. Cracher sous nez, y'a pas fait d'il est. Nous voyons rapide, ton goût, c'est pour bi express. Haitian gangster, y'a pas pose y'a y'a. Mais y'a pas down with hex. So suspend parler. Hip hop gave us that voice to express ourselves. To let people know what was going around in our communities, what was going around in our hood. You know, they weren't concerned about what was going on in our communities. But when the youth started speaking out about the violence, the, the exploitation of women, you know, um, you know, all of these issues, then it became a situation. Then they had to listen to us because what we, what we were talking about was the real issues. You know, not, what, not only what you were hearing on the news, but we were the news. You know, we were the news. We were bringing the news through, through the art form. I'm a substitute teacher, and the reason why I even got into teaching is because I believe that, you know, the, the youth got the information. They just don't know how to use it. Those who don't have the information, they need it. Somebody's got to, you know, bring it to them in a form that, you know, is, is teachable. And so as a substitute teacher, as like an entertainer who really understands that, you know, entertainment is a foundation, a platform to like, you know, promote education. I feel like these types of, you know, um, seminars and sessions is like real beneficial because it, it, you know, they get to see the artists, you know, right there in the same room as them. They get to hear my life experience, which I explained and, and, and basically just some of my knowledge just from being older and, you know, 
just just be on camera, dude. <laughs> yeah, just just from some of my experiences and, and you know just you know from from where I've been, just my surroundings. I, I can share that with them. For some people, the minute you say the word hip hop, blinders go on, and they think one thing. You know, and that one thing may be true, but then there are a hundred other things that are true as well. So you asked me earlier, what's Miami Light Project? The last line of our mission to me is the greatest description of what we are, and it is that Miami Light Project is a cultural forum to explore some of the issues that define contemporary society through an artist's eyes. And so hip hop could not be more relevant for the fulfillment of our mission. I try not to have expectations, but I can't front like I did expect more, more youth, you know, up until like the last week when I really found out how many were going to be there. Uh, I expected more quantity and I got the quality, you know what I'm saying? So uh, my soul rejoices with quality. Who are you kicking a rhyme to? The kids, the kids who dad left them. The people who don't know who still had their fathers and the deadbeat fathers. So you need to bring that. Is you gotta bring the tone up a little bit. Like you're, you're giving information. You're like, who is my father? You're not who is my father. You gotta let them know, yo, who is my father? Dude made an early departure. You're telling them. You're teaching them. Like, yo, you made an early departure. What's up? You can't. That's not something nice or sweet. You gotta bring it. Like, yo, this is what it is. So we what talked happened. about that's confidence. So like, when you're flowing, you're not supposed to be thinking. And you can always hear it, whether they're thinking or they're really flowing. No, you can always hear it on the radio. You can always tell it a live show. So, I mean, mm. you're able to do so much more with your hands, with your body language, with your eyes, with the way that you speak and the words that you hit when you know your lyrics. It's my favorite thing to do in the world is to work with the youth and especially the ones that are not in the knowing yet, don't, don't really know about soul, don't know about their own consciousness and who they are and the power that they have. That's my favorite thing. Here comes. Who was my father? A dude made an early departure. Lay down, maybe kids he couldn't sponsor. They left us man and they made a hunter. He turned into a monster and a wannabe monster. Running in these streets and putting shoes on our feet. But we ate real well. Thanks, Mom. Say the least, cause she worked two jobs. Just trying to keep the peace. Ten we could go, said you looking like a beast. What's that? All your hip man is looking like a beast. Turning dudes like you to the recently deceased. Now that's crazy beat to me. That verse kept the world history. Spread strength strong in the nation. Work so hard that I'm listening. Let me dad, I hope you're listening. So history won't repeat again. Yeah! That's hot right there, man. There you go. Devante said, No, I've never written anything that's meaningful. I write rap, but nothing that ever meant anything. Like, those words will stick with me forever. Like, that's what you want to hear, you know? And I said to them, If those are the only powerful, meaningful words that you ever write, at least you've written it. You can have it forever. Couldn't, couldn't enjoy dinners because it didn't seem important with suffering from the trauma since his mama got deported. Food was like a mission with no provisions and storage. No food for stomach, but food for thought never in shortage. He was never supported. He needed to break out, shake out. So in his head, he drew an escape route right past the push, right past the bushes and the pushes of the coke and the hustlers and the puffers of the smoke. Roll past the tellers of the jokes and the writers of the plight right through the dark tunnel. He was heading towards the light. Mm -hmm. Dancing m makes you happy, it sets you free, you know? DJing is the same, making people dance, making people move. But MCing is so much more 
I won't say it's more personal, but I mean, it's just different. Couldn't enjoy dinners because they didn't seem important. Was suffering from the trauma since his mama got deported. You know what I'm saying? Hit it, okay? Like, it's a drama. It's a drama. You have to let people know your story. What are you saying? Right here. Concentration is gone, the concentration is on For the paper in these streets, no more can he be The whack dude in the game, used to be a lame, but all that's changed She said the first day of camp when she was introducing herself That, you know, she wanted to be a real MC She wanted to bring that out of her But then on day one, she kind of curled up into her shell and, and was afraid of pulling it out And then was saying it really doesn't matter to her Really, she doesn't really care about it but then by the end of the process, by the end of the last, you know, the couple weeks, she was like a real MC up there performing and she cared about it and it was pouring out of her soul and she was talking about something that was meaningful and could have that forever. No more can he be the white dude in the game. Used to be a lame, but all that's changed. For he got the aim to go and get the changes. Time for a vision and somebody to listen. So he run the streets and he sell the weed and he hold the heat that keeps the peace from his sis to the street so he can eat. On the verge of yeah. being deceased, so ready or not, he shoots the shot that kills the cop as he drops the Glock. Suddenly his heart stops and so does his breathing. No. I was like that mama with my children learning how to walk. Like the day your child <laughs> starts walking and running, I was so. Oh man, it was. There's no words. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, looking like a beast, but turning dudes like you into the recently deceased. Now that's crazy. Beat the lead. Dad's first kiss throughout history. Brother stand strong in this mission. G work so hard that we blister it. If you choose to be an MC, you are spoken more arts because you can't be. You can't have any fear. You've got to talk about your truth. You can't care about what your friends are going to think about you. You can't care about that. You've got to care about that one person you're going to totally move and change their lives. So spoken word and poetry and hip hop, I believe is really the core of life, period. This is really a movement. And unfortunately, it's just become very commercialized and it's our fault. I'm not going to even blame the label. I'm not going to blame these you know, coochie, sharing, flashing, booty popping artists, I'm not. Because if people didn't buy it, it wouldn't be there. It's sad to me. They don't get it. That's what they need to get. <laughs>